to my channel. All right, so this video reading is your love life predictions for 2021. Um, and I'm going to break it down uh, between three different parts. So first four months, that's January through uh, April, through the end of April. Then we're going to do May through the end of August. And then we're going to do September through the end of December. So until we loop up to 2022, made the year sound like this. Oh my gosh. But anyway, before I get into which deck is which, I'd like to thank all of you who are subbed to this channel thus far. I thank you so very much. What is that? That is a, not a heart. Um, I thank you so very much. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation with me or become a patron of mine, I do monthly giveaways at current. Um, I'm recording this in December. The December uh, 2020 giveaway for Patreon is still, you can still enter to win. Um, it's a $25 Etsy gift card. And then for January 2021, check out the pin comment below as well as the description box below. I am giving away a cleanser, facial cleanser from the skincare brand Myth Magic. So go check out more on that. All right. And so we have three decks to choose from. Keep in mind, these will be general messages. It will not resonate for everyone. And if you don't like the story, you don't got to take it because you are the one who controls your life and what happens. This is just all current energy. So it can change at any moment or you can choose to change it. Uh, either way, have fun, stay, you know, watch. And if you feel unhealthy or unhappy about what you're seeing, click out. Um, but do what you need to do. Either way, I hope you're having fun and I hope you're enjoying this. Um, but <laughs> this is deck one, deck two, deck three. Again, deck one, deck two, deck three. Pause the video, see which one you feel you resonate with, and then come back for your message. All right, so deck number one. Let's see what's going down in your love life universe thank you for the channel messages any messages for deck number one what's happening in your love life january through april 2021 boom truth be told someone might be coming back in to apologize to you january 2021 through april conclusions are within reach yes somebody might be apologizing or or maybe you're getting honest with yourself deck number one about your love life these first four months of the year. Tech number one. All right, we got wedding. Maybe for some of you, you're realizing that you need to, you know, step it up on the love of your life. We have let your friends help you out. So you could be, this could involve, you know, maybe getting into something romantic with a friend or just finally realizing what you need to realize about yourself. Or maybe for some of you, you might be getting married. Give me love messages for deck number one. January through April. Love messages for deck number one, January through April. One more love messages for deck number one, January through April. Ah, uh, so I'm definitely feeling the energy of relationship for some of you. If you've been a bit single, you know, this is your, your, your time frame. So we have the death card that came out in the reverse. So your love life is definitely getting a revitalization. For some of you, um, I feel like this is more so, I'm not even necessarily feeling like someone's coming towards you from the past or in the distance. I feel like this is more so you reawakening and allowing yourself to give love chance, love a chance again. We have the emperor, emperor that came out in the reverse. So if you've been a bit controlling, I'm seeing you loosen up a bit between January or loosen up a lot rather between January and um, April in regards to love. And then we have, ooh, so some of y'all gonna be out there scheming and scamming with your love life, having fun. That's what I'm getting with that one. This, okay, so the first four months, uh, for those of you who chose deck number one, what I'm feeling overall is, this feels more so like the dating, like a dating energy. Like you're gonna be out there more so dating. Dating, 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 but you're dating with seriousness in mind. So let's see, universe, thank you for the channel messages. What's deck number one's love life going to be like? between May through August 2021. What is our love life going to be like between May and August 2021? We have the King of Cups that came out in the reverse. So I'm seeing you actually settle on someone um, between May and August of 2021. However, though, no, let's see. I don't know. 
something about this energy still feels a bit closed off. It still feels like maybe you'll be in protection mode, which is completely understandable, deck number one. But we have the King of Pentacles. Maybe you'll be in a, a relationship with a uh, earth sign of some sort, but then we also have the King of Cups. So it could be a water sign, could be a Scorpio, which is a water sign, could be an Aries. We have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So I'm seeing you decide on someone, deck number one. And once again, y'all take this or leave this if you want. But I feel like it's situationship vibes. And I feel like it's more so on your end. Or I can't even say. It's a little deeper than situationship. It's, it's a situation where you're kind of not going. You're not wanting to leap too much into it. Maybe it's because you feel like, you know, you, you know it's like you don't want to go too fast. Maybe you feel, maybe you're just meeting this person, you know, at the tail end of April and it's like you want to get to know them. But I feel like, um, this feels like the title isn't there yet, but you're, you are spending pretty much most of your, you know, free time with this person. We have the sun card in the reverse. Ooh, interesting. And we have the two of cups. So yeah, definitely this feels more so like a situation ship, something that either hasn't fully materialized as of yet we also got leo energy here with the sun or something that maybe maybe this is the end of cuffing season you know well uh, well usually made through summer you know you you out there you're doing your thing but i'm just i'm not seeing it with someone that you're giving a title to i'm saying you spend time with someone that you're comfortable with but you're not giving a title to someone or someone's not giving a title to you, but this feels more so like your energy. And it feels like because you still kind of want to be in this singleness, which is, you know. But then again, if the person who is allowing, you know, you to waste their time is participating, then it's, it's their lesson to learn. But anyway, let's see. What's going on with Jack number one's love life? September through December 31st. 2021. What's going on with their love life September through December 31st, 2021? Mm, okay. Now, once again, if this ain't your story, don't take it. But for some of you, you might be going through cycles in 2021. And maybe that's that, you know, truth be told. Maybe truthfully be told. You're not ready fully or you're not really looking for a relationship or to step out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm getting with that one. We have the King of Swords that came out in the upright. We have the Page of Swords that came out in the reverse. We have the Nine of Wands that came out in the reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So I'm seeing the year end off in some sort of relationship. It kind of feels like for some of you, Mm, no, it's going to develop. It's going to develop. For some of you, it may end in, in pregnancy in 2021. I feel like there's a lot of babies coming out in this 2021 energy. Y'all going to be getting it on. Um, no, this feels like commitment. This definitely feels like commitment. So what I'm getting overall for you, deck number one, is the first four months, you're going to be out there dating. You're going to be having fun. These next four months, you know, April through or May through um, August, you're going to still be getting to know the person that you've narrowed down in on. Because I'm seeing you spend a lot of time with one person in particular. And you're narrow, you're, you're narrowing it down. And this is more so maybe giving up the single life. Reluctantly, but giving up the single life. Because right underneath, look, we have the lover's card. So definitely there's love coming in. Um, and I'm seeing you get more committed with someone come September through through the 31st. And it may, may lead into babies. It may lead into marriage. That's what I'm getting with that. Because look... We had wedding. So maybe for some of you, um, the outcome of this year will result in marriage for you or some strong commitment because, you know, you're collaborating together, you know, you're creating new life together. So this is more of a progressive year when it comes to dating and finding someone and someone coming in. And I just heard it. Some of y'all are wondering, like, is this a new energy? Old energy? What? It's a healthier energy. Um, you're pacing yourself, whether it's a new or old person, that's up to you. Cause I am seeing you date and there's always old, you know, old energies that come back, but, but whether this is new or old, if you want to give somebody old another chance that's on you. If you want to give somebody new another chance that's on you, but the way I'm seeing the course of how it's going to end out 
is that you're going to be dating. You're going to allow yourself to get out there. You're going to, you know, exclusively start dating this one person, but it's going to be without titles. But once again, you know, it's a little less restrictive, but it's, it's still that energy of being unsure, kind of fearful. And then come September, I'm seeing you feel more open to give this a chance. And I'm seeing y'all really take some leaps of uh, becoming a family as a three or more, or maybe this person already has kids or you know, it's going to definitely get more serious as the, the the year comes to an end, which is a good thing. It's progressive. It's time to release negative energy. So for some of you, deck number one, um, maybe you're releasing somebody from your past and it's been long overdue. And then we have, look, clean, clean it up. Truth be told, you're releasing the past to let someone new in. Now, once again, it could be somebody from the past and it's a new energy. But either way, this is brand, brand new, brand, brand new. Let your friends help you out. Maybe your friends will be connecting you with someone that's what i'm getting with that all right deck number one you all let me know in the comment section how that resonated for you did that resonate for you did you like the reading did you not like the reading let me know let me know book a private reading coaching or consultation session with me or become a patron of mine all the information is in the pin comment below as well as the description box below check out what this month's uh patreon giveaways are pin comment below and description box below will give you uh, more information on that and subscribe if you feel compelled to like comment share and let's get on to deck number two all right so deck number two let's break this one down actually first of all let's get overall outcome universe give me overall outcome for deck number two's love life in january 2021 okay look at those love yourself first give me overall outcome for the love life of january the love life for deck number two in 2021. Yin, a year of receiving. Give me overall outcome for the love life of those who chose deck number two. Meditate and contemplate. Creative energy. So let's see, universe. Thank you for the channel messages. So we're going to break it down January through April. May through August, and then September through December. So universe, January through April. What is the love life? What's going on in the love life for those who chose deck number two? January through April. What's going on in the love life for those who chose deck number two? January through April. What's going on in the love life for those who chose deck number two? May through August. What's going on in the love life for those who chose deck number two? What's going on? May through August. Let's see. Now we're gonna stick with those. <laughs> My coffee machine, you all. I got it was plugged in. And September through December. What's going on in Love Life? Those who chose deck number two. September through December. What's going on in Love Life? For those who chose deck number two. September through December. What's going on in Love Life? Those who chose deck number two. Bottom of the deck overall, lover's card in reverse. So let's see what's happening. Yeah, the nine of cup, the nine of pentacles, I'm sorry, that came out in the reverse. The devil card that came out in the reverse. Some of you could be trying to detach from a Capricorn or from an earth sign. You're going to be a bit uncomfortable or, you know, at least love wise. This could be in regards to, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone, meeting somebody new. Or it could be, you know, detaching from somebody, you know, a very comfortable energy, maybe an ex, maybe a current. We have the Queen of Cups that came out in the upright and we have the Fool card. Ooh, yeah. So for some of you who chose deck number two, and once again, take the story if it's yours and don't take it if it's not. But I'm seeing you release somebody. You're either releasing the past and you're allowing yourself to leap into something, you know, something new, something better. You're going on a self-love journey with that Queen of Cups. Or you're releasing a current or someone that you're still tied to. It's going to feel a bit uncomfortable because this is what you're used to. You know, you're used to being in this situation with this person. I'm more so getting the energy, um, deck number two, is that you're going to be doing heavy focus on self for the first four months. Not that you won't be dating. There's some, some energies, one or two people that's popping up for the first four months of the year. But I'm seeing more heavy focus on self 
autonomy, just, you know, just really focus on yourself. But you're going to be taking a leap of faith, so don't worry. This more so feels like a leap of faith from this energy. You know, you're out of your comfort zone. It doesn't feel good, but you're determined to be happy. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see what's going down in your love life. Put these. Come. May through August. We have the two of wands that came out in the reverse. We got the nine of cups that came out in the reverse. We got the sun card that came out in the upright. And then we have the eight of pentacles. So, hmm, now this is interesting. I'm seeing you all maybe focus more so on business matters. Maybe you're going to give birth to a new business. Something of those regards. And heavy Piscean energy in this particular deck. Um, I don't know. For some of you, you may not be fully, 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 fully. I'm not, I don't want to say ready. But for some of you, I'm seeing your, your focus being put elsewhere. For some of you, if there's a lack of mates or potential partners between the months of May and uh, August or through August, um, it's because, you know, your foresight isn't really far out there with the two of wands in the reverse. Like, I'm not really seeing you look forward. Now, for some of you, maybe that relationship that you're letting go of or something that you're currently in or just let, just, just let go of was so detrimental that it's like, I don't want to jump into it. But I'm still feeling you once again. You're still in a little bit of uncomfortable energy or not uncomfortable you might be being urged to get out of your comfort zone in regards to finding a mate, but you're not satisfied overall with your love life. You're satisfied with self, just not with others. But you're also, but you're really good at business though. So though this is not a business read, the business financial wise, you're going to be good. You're going to be content with self. I'm also seeing you do more traveling too, deck number two, between the months of May and through august of 2021 there's more traveling coming for you so in regards to love and once again don't take it if this is not what you want but in regards to love i'm saying you know heavy on the self-focus you're going to keep going through that you're putting yourself first that's what's coming through too you're putting yourself first and whatever doesn't suit you you're not going to grab it that's what that is so let's see you got the seven of cups and this is for uh september through december 31st january 2021 you have the seven of cups you have the Three of Cups. Hmm. You have the Nine of Swords. And you have the Ace of Cups. <sighs> and this is based on current energy, you all. Based on current energy. Uh, 2021 may be more of a year where you just kind of keep to self. I am seeing dates happen, but I'm seeing disappointments. I'm saying, you know, maybe you still have to get the old energies of the toxic people that you've attracted in the past out of your, you, you know, out of your midst, you know. Um, I'm seeing you a bit frustrated, too, about your love life. I'm seeing you pour inward because of the frustrations you have with your love life. I'm not really seeing you go out as much and date as much. But once again, this is all things that you can control. So... It could be because you're kind of depressed and frustrated, you know, about love life, anxious for some of you, you know, maybe there's a bit of social anxiety there, but for others of you, you know, maybe this is still more work that needs to be done with this right here, but what you're going to be detaching at the top of the year, maybe you're going to realize that, you know, um, it hasn't completely let go of. For some of you, you're going to see somebody's getting married. I'm not getting necessarily you. I'm not saying that it can't be you, but more so getting that for some of you, you might see your ex get married to someone and that might be a little trigger for you. Or for some of you, you might see your ex get back. I don't want to say get back with their ex because that's, yeah, for some of you that may happen. Um, but you might say, or, or get with some, get married to someone or be with someone, the person who's right after you. And that might be a trigger, not necessarily because you want the ex back, but because of the fact that it's like, you know, that was supposed to be our life, that type of thing. So let's see what's coming out in the overall energy. And if you don't like this one, you all go pick a different deck, but we have chemistry. So there's people there, but you have to choose to choose them. We have retreat, but I'm seeing you more so choose to go within. And once again, if you're taking time out deck number two to heal, that's perfect. 
um, for myself when before I got into seriously dating people I had to seriously sit myself down and it took me two good years two years and some change to really be in a mental space where it's like I am ready for everything that comes with dating the good the bad the ugly the rejection the fun the the uh, I gotta get up and get away Ooh, let me call my friends and pretend like you know where's the uber like but only way you're able to accept that and not eternalize it as uh, it's me and nobody loves me is when you're okay within self when you do the healing work so this could just be a year where you're healing and once again you're focusing on other parts of your life you are not just your love life you know that's just one piece of what makes up the wonderful you we have you and your loved ones are safe cancer so you're going to be surrounded more by family or you're going to be looking more into family and family regards and once again this may be piece of your story and maybe another part of your story is in a different deck you all so don't think it's doomsday because i know it's not all roses but this is actually you know this is about taking care of self which is a great thing and then we have deep knowing look at that high priestess energy four plus three seven you know blessings number of blessings so this is about going within this is about being connected with self and whatever it is that you're purging at the top of the year it'll come full circle towards the end of the year so no worries there and that's not to say you can't start a new relationship and have a new relationship while you're still purging out old energy this is just more so you know if this is something if you find yourself getting to this point uh deck number two where you're not really focusing on this because of depressions or frustrations or this do what you need to do in order to counteract that you know um and if it's depression you know get the proper help that's what i'm getting with that all right deck number two you all let me know how you felt about that in the comment section below how did that resonate did it resonate you know did any of this sound like something that might be in your personality or just whatever do you feel like you got something out of it or yeah um, book a private reading coaching or consultation session with me. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Become a patron of mine and view this month's Patreon giveaway. Um, at current, it is an Etsy gift card for 2020 uh, December and a Myth Magic skincare uh, cleanser giveaway for 2021. Pin comment below, description box below for all of that good stuff, including the private readings and uh, Patreon information and if you feel compelled to subscribe to this channel like comment share and let's move on to deck number three so deck number three let's find out what's coming up give me the overall outcome of deck number three's love life for 2021 deck number three's love life for 2021 boom be bold and make the first move go in there your person may be a cardinal sign, one of the cardinal um, zodiac signs. Let's see, universe, thank you for the channel messages. Give me outcome 2021 love life for deck number three. One more outcome 2021 love life deck number three. Time to take a nap. Give me love life January or 2021. For deck number three boom straight from the middle getting to know each other so let's see and we're gonna break it down from january through april may through august and september through december 31st so universe give me january through april for deck number three love life january through april Deck number three, love life, January through April. Deck number three. Hmm. Let's see. I actually don't want to get, I'm going to shuffle that after we do this. Ooh, somebody has been in pause mode. You are ready. Look at that. Ooh, nine of cups that came out in the upright. Four of swords that came out in the reverse. The high priestess that came out in the reverse. And the world card that came out in the reverse. Hmm. So I don't want to get the default answer of, you know, somebody in your karmic energy may be coming back, somebody at a distance. But at the same time, I'm going to tell y'all the truth to what I'm getting in the cards. Somebody in your karmic energy is still there and somebody may be at a distance. However, though, I'm saying you take it or leave it because you are in this energy right here. You may have been on a pause, a self timeout. 
you are in rare form and high form and you are ready to get out there you are dating and you're dating with a purpose you're looking for someone now with this high priestess in reverse I'm not feeling a disconnection from self. I'm actually feeling a disconnection from someone from the past. Could be this karmic or this person at a distance. Once again, it's an energy of take it or leave it. I'm seeing for some of you, there's still someone in your energy that you would love best case scenario for things to work out with. But I'm also seeing you out there just doing you. And it's like, you know what? Whoever's going to grab me first because I am, you know, I'm the prize. And I'm not about to wait on you. That's what I'm getting with that. So for some of you, this could be someone like your twin flame. You know, if you subscribe to that, that soulmate energy, that 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 energy where it's like you and this person was off and on, couldn't get it right. The tables have finally turned. Let me tell you that you may have been chasing this person, but let me tell you, baby, mm -mm. the tables have finally turned and this person is seeing damn. And as well, it's going to be up to them. Either they're going to grab what they want or, or they're going to let you get away because I'm seeing you once again. You're in this take it or leave it energy. You're exploring the brand new and you're disconnecting or you're disconnected from someone from this energy right here. Best, you know, in a perfect world, you would love for this to happen, but you're not waiting on the world to turn perfect. So you're in some good energy. You're, in, you're ready. Universe, give me the love life for those who chose number three may through august 2021 may through august 2021 give me that may through august 2021 page of pentacles yeah you're gonna have your eye on someone or someone's gonna have their eye on you or it's gonna be the start of a brand new relationship a budding relationship we got the moon card that came out in reverse. You might be dealing with a Pisces, Pisces, Pisces energy. We have the Ace of Swords. You might be dealing with um, an air sign. The Magician card in the upright. Oh, yeah, you are going into relationship territory. And the three of uh, wands that came out in reverse. And look at that one. Be bold. Where is it? With us saying, be bold and make the first move. For some of you, you'll be making the first move. For some of you, this is just about taking the initiative. So your first move may be simply leaving the house and putting in effort. You know what I mean? Like trying to date, things of that nature, or being the first one to say, hey, let's go grab coffee because you feel like you can feel the vibe. I'm definitely feeling relationship for you. Um, what is that? May through August of 2021. I'm seeing you be open with somebody. Open and honest, trusting with someone. I'm getting like best friend vibes too. You're really manifesting this one in and you're being direct about what it is that you want. So the universe is directly giving you back what you want. I'm seeing you in a budding relationship come the 1st of May. And I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing titles and everything. Like, I'm seeing the both of you and your person on the same page about this. So it's good. It's, it's really good. You, you're in a healthy mindset. That's what I'm seeing with that one. I kind of want to keep, you know what? I want to keep that page right there. Universe is saying keep it right there. So let's see. Universe, give me the love life of those. This is the healthiest one I've done. I mean, no, all of them have been healthy. But I guess for some of you that's looking like, but I want to know, am I has somebody? I'm not seeing, I'm, a, I'm seeing you go about your love life without fear, but maybe I shouldn't say the healthiest. This is the clearest energy of all three of the decks. Like you've done the self work prehand, you're ready. That's what that is. So, universe, thank you for the chat messages. Give me love life for those who chose step number three, September through December 31st. Like, this isn't a, I need to be sure, I need the last hurrah, no. December, September through December 31st, 2021, love life, deck number three. I want that one too. Oh, this is a, this is full-blown relationship. For some of you, this could be baby. And I feel like that's coming up because, you know, of the different energies and, and because of my age demographic. And many of you may be mothers or fathers who watch me. But look at this. This might end in engagement, you all. 
And for those of you, and not even just baby, because for some of you now, I will say this, because for some of you, it's like, but I want the marriage before the baby. This could just be telling me that the person that you're going to marry, there's, you know, there's baby down the line, or you're meeting the person you're going to have a baby with. That's what I'm getting with that one. So for some of you, this isn't necessarily, you will be pregnant in 2021, though I am going to do that reading um, if it hasn't dropped already. This is more so this person more than likely is going to be the person that you have kids with or your next kid or, you know, <laughs> more than likely the person you set off in the sunset with. That's what I'm getting with that, that forever bay, you know, till life bay or for life bay. We have the queen of swords. Yeah, this is I mean, heavy, heavy, heavy Aquarian energy, air energy. This person could be a Libra or a Gemini, but most notably Aquarius or Libra. We have the nine of pentacles. Uh, for some of you, you're moving in with someone. I'm seeing like your space, you know, things, I don't wanna say get uncomfortable, but it's a change, it's a change. Whenever I get uncomfortability uh, too, it's not always in a negative sense, it's in the sense of, okay, I'm growing, I'm, I'm going outside of my comfort zone, my norm. And wow, look at that, nine. We started off with the nine of cups in the second row, ended with the nine of pentacles. So you're growing, you're expanding. Well, now, once again, family-wise, you're expanding. This could be physically you're growing. Look at that Empress. Boom. We got the Ten of Cups. Yeah. For some of you, you're moving in. By the end of the year, you're moving in with your person. Um, or there's engagement. This is a heavy energy of engagement, set commitment, or something that's going to lead to marriage for 2022. Engagement for 2022. Look at that Queen of Cups. Piscean energy has come out. So you, once again, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So you might be a Pisces. Um, now, mm, I'm feeling heavier Pisces energy right now. And then we have the King of Wands. So you can have some Aries energy or some Leo. I'm getting mostly Aries or Leo with that one. But this is somebody... Your person might be a bachelor right now. They might be a bachelor's bachelor or a bachelorette's bachelor at, you know, the Samantha of them all, you know, or I always say this is my Trey Songz card, the Trey Songs of them all. But, and it's not even about taming this person. You didn't tame them, deck number three, or they didn't tame you. This is somebody who's just ready and they found you. I'm getting that you're like, you know, maybe you're very free-spirited. You and this person are like fire and ice. You know, you're free-spirited. They're free-spirited in their own way. But it's two different ways. But you two are so much like each other. This is a, this is, this is a good, y'all, this is a sexy romance too. I just felt some tingles. This is a good romance and this is a sexy romance. And it's a committed and honest and open one. And that's what you all are, are devoted to each other. So that's the good in that. So let's see the overall outcome. We have nothing will come of this situation. Now that's funny. Um, we have a time for healing. So this romance will be healing. Let me grab some more cards on that one. Because I'm not going to try to make that fit. Nothing will come of this situation. We didn't get the whole read. Universe, give me more information of this. Nothing will come of this situation. I'm not feeling that. I'm not. And not because I'm not feeling, like literally, I'm not feeling a read on that one. Uh, energy for nothing will come in this situation. Six of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Nothing will come in this situation. Um, I feel like more so now. I'm going to tell you what I'm honestly getting off of this one. Now, this situation right here. So, up here, these first four months, you will be dating. Ah, remember when I told you? Might be somebody you're waiting on, this karmic situation. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe it's not them. If this person can't get it together, it won't be them. I'll tell you that one. And it'll be back to the drawing board. But once again, you're in an energy of, I could take it or leave it, a time for healing. You're going to be healing a whole lot of um, different wounds. Just in loving yourself, just in out there having fun, releasing crazy psychotic expectations timelines boom and the both of you this is crazy the both of you you and your partner deck number three are gonna feel like you want a prize because the two of you kind of feel like y'all got i don't want to say difficult personalities but you are who you are you like what you like and nobody tells you what to do so the both of you are going to be feeling like I, uh, I earned that one i know i love this person so let's see what else came out true love look at that look at you taming that trey songs and samantha um 
We got deep knowing. That's your intuition. Piscean energies. You could be falling in love with a water sign. And we have time to go. Some of y'all are moving. I told you, you're moving. Some of y'all are moving. And with this time to take a nap, getting to know each other, there's someone new coming in. Or maybe, mm, I can't even say once again, I can't give you a past reading. I'm not getting strong vibes about the past. I know some people are like, eh, but what about the past? Um, not to say that this isn't a past person. And just small note, four plus five equals nine. That could be significant. Four plus three equals seven. That could be significant for you as well. Um, eighth, eight, number eight, life path number. This person could be... Um, CEO driven, entrepreneurial driven, have their own business. That's what's coming through. Or you can have that. Or this could be your destiny for um, 2021. Nine and nine also. But anyway, not saying that this can't be somebody from the past, you all. Uh, once again, you control your destiny. But I'm not getting a strong read on the past. This more so feels like new energy. Now, it could be somebody from your past coming in with new energy. Once again, persistent, consistent fidelity, you know, truthful, honesty. They're not lying to you about small things because if they can lie to you about something itty bitty, and I'm not talking about like, you know, hey, did you remember to pick up the, the, the spaghetti from the store? I mean, like, you know, some somewhere it's like, what was that lie for? Then trust me, it comes out in bigger things, you know. I'm not saying people can't change, people don't change, but let them prove to you that that is change because love is an action word. They can tell you all the beautiful things, but if their actions aren't dictating it, it's a wish. It's a wanting, it's a wish, but you want people to show you the same way you who are watching this have been showing other people and showing this person. So that's what that is. Um, so I'm feeling more so new energy coming towards you now. It could be from the past, could be from the present, could be from the brand new, but that's this, this is what I'm getting in this reading, you all. But anyway, I thank you all for tuning into this video. If you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, or become a Patreon, uh, a patron, uh, please direct your attention to the pin comment below as well as the description box below. Also, December 2020 is still here. That giveaway is an Etsy gift card, $25. And then the January 2021 giveaway is a um, Myth Magic Skin Cleanser, which I'm very excited about. I love the product myself. Uh, and so, yeah, very gentle. And if you have combination skin, y'all, because your girl, you know, I got greasy and dry. I'm greasy and dry, okay? So talk about confuddled. <laughs> but it's very gentle and it works best on combination skin or either or. But but if you are somebody and it's like, you don't know if you're coming or you're going with your skin type, it works well too. And it's definitely uh, for sensitive skin as well. So no worries there if you have very sensitive skin. And yeah, if you feel compelled to subscribe to my channel, do so, do it. Uh, like, comment, tell me what you thought about this video in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll be seeing you all and you'll be seeing me. Peace and blessings. Much love. Goodbye.